gon' keep telling me to make it yeah. To the spot where we would stay lit uh, And finished bottles never wasted yeah. Cause that's where I'm from What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of On Campus, presented by the Solano College Sports Network. I'm your host, Brandon Kyle, and today I am joined by sports broadcasting student, Nate McKay. Nate, thanks for joining us. Really good to be here. Thanks, Brandon. So let's start off with how you found out about this program. How did you hear about it and get involved here? So I actually found out about this program a long time ago. My sister went through the program, so I found that out about her. and. I didn't really have the time to, you know, be a part of the summer programs and everything. I was really busy in the summer doing work for my other job, so unfortunately I didn't have time in the summer to do it. But I found out again about the program when I decided to go to Salon Community College because I looked at it having a sports broadcasting program and of course that's what I want to hopefully do later on in my future, being a sports broadcaster, whether it's, you know, being a sports reporter, being an anchor or anything like that. So. I really saw it as a good opportunity for me to get a jump start and you know if I want to take any time to practice, do what I want to and it's been a real cool experience so far. Cool. And you said you want to, you know, be a broadcaster in mm -hmm. front of the camera. Is that pretty much what you've been doing in this class since you got into it? Yeah, so when I first got started, and I actually have a funny story of how I first did my first broadcast. So when I first started, I was doing camera work, uh, did scorekeeping for the, you know, for the whole broadcast in general. And I think it was our first or third, fourth uh, high school football game that we were doing in the fall semester. Um, I showed up exactly around three that we're supposed to be there. And our professor, Greg Poff, you know, tells me, hey, Nate, we need someone to be in the booth doing full-time color commentating. Are you okay with doing that? And that completely caught me off guard because I thought I was only going to be doing about one quarter of football. and. I ended up doing a whole game with Steven and uh, another person that isn't with us right now, um, Chad Kaur, I think his name was. So I got to do a broadcast with him when Vacaville took on the We'll See What Wildcats. And that was a really cool experience since it was a black and blue ball. I went to Vacaville High School, so it was really cool to actually call the game. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you so you've been in here for three semesters, mm -hmm. right? This is your yeah. third semester in the program. What would you say is, you know, or has been the most challenging aspect of, of the sports broadcasting program? Oof. Um, when you go into basically being a play-by-play -play and color commentator, and I didn't really have any problems with this until the summer semester, this semester that we're in. I didn't have any problems with it until we got to doing, you know, the California Collegiate League teams when we started doing those broadcasts. Because when you're doing broadcasts for like the college, you're, you have stats for everybody, you have stats for the basketball team, softball, baseball, etc. So when you get to go into the California Collegiate League, there's just times where they don't have any stats at all on the players. Um, I think the Mudcats were the only team that actually had stats on their website. So that was easy to find. But when they played other teams, such as the West Coast Kings, the San Francisco Seals, they didn't have any stats. Or I think the Seals had some stats a little bit. But I had to basically go off some high school stats. I had to look up you know, what they did in the past. So it's really a lot of information that you had to look up. But, you know, as our professor Greg Pop told us, you know, having a lot of information is never a bad thing. That's what he told me from day one. And I definitely have, you know, taken the challenge of having a lot of information and ha using it as my advantage. Because if there's any dead air time during a broadcast, it's always great to have any little key facts that you can throw into there. So you'd say, you know, one of the biggest benefits going, you know, trying to go into a professional broadcasting career is just is just learning how to do your research yeah. and figure out what to talk about. And it seems like, you know, if you can do it with little with little information, mm -hmm. then as you move on to, you know, you know, bigger teams that have a lot of information, it only it only becomes easier, right? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So, what would you say to someone interested in this program, you know, coming into this program? Uh, or what to expect or you know how they can be prepared when they dive into the sports broadcasting program so really really when you dive into this broadcasting program um, I would really just say to anyone interested if they ever asked me hey I'm interested in taking this class you know what you what 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 can you tell me about it so mainly it's always coming in you know with work prepared having being prepared as much as possible because if you're in a situation where, let's say, you only have one day to look up stats, 
you know, you got to jump on it right away. You can't just rush anything, do anything at the last minute because I feel like that it's really easy to tell if you rush your work, do it at the last minute. So I feel like being prepared at all times is really important and it's really, really huge if you're going to be wanting to take this class. It's just, you're going to have to be prepared at all times and that's really probably the biggest thing I would recommend to someone. But at the end of the day, it's just really fun. I mean, as we were saying earlier, it's not just about sports. You can go ahead and have your own podcast where you can talk about real world events, world events, anything like that, or in general, just you know other topics that you want to go into, movie reviews, anything that you're interested in. You could really make it into the show. And our professor who is a part, the person who runs this program, he is open to any ideas that you have. He's always willing to listen to anything that you may have to you know, throw at him. So you guys don't just do sports. You guys are doing podcasts mm-hmm. on other things that of your interest in, yeah. in events and whatnot mm-hmm. like that? Yeah, most definitely. Very cool, very cool. Thanks for joining us and giving us so much great information about the sports broadcasting program. Yeah, no problem. Guys, that's going to do it for us today on On Campus. Again, I'm Brandon Kyle. Thanks for joining us. And uh, I want to thank one more time Nate McKay of the sports broadcasting program. Uh, and hopefully you guys uh, that are interested in this class, come check it out. And we will see you next time. If you are interested in a career in sports broadcasting, whether you're commentating a live game, or hosting your own TV show, or working behind the scenes, then this is the class for you. For more information, contact Greg Poff, that's me, at solano.edu. We hope to see you here next semester, and remember, it's more than just sports, it's an education. But Dad, I love him. I'm going to marry him. I don't care what you say. Cut. Welcome to TV 55. In this hands-on class at Solano Community College, you'll learn all aspects of television production. Work with high-end cameras in the field and in the studio. Professional sound, lighting, and green screen. And let's not forget editing. Enroll today. Get an art school education at a fraction of the cost. Visit us online at solano.edu.